Hello Guardians and welcome back. The TWAB just dropped and a spicy piece of information is in that TWAB regarding our deep sight weapons for Season of the Plunder, and I'm going to break it down really quickly for you. So the crew upgrade called Double Perk Weapon Spoils, the first time you focus a Season of the Plunder weapon each week, it will roll with an additional selectable perk. Well, that perk is changing. I believe it's staying the same, but it's adding an additional thing on top of it. So along with other seasons and the hidden compartment crew upgrade, we can now get an additional deep sight resonance weapon each week, and we get to select which one we want. So if you really only care about one weapon for this entire season, you can target it now. You can go straight for it, which is super awesome because I was getting a little frustrated not getting any sidearm red borders. Anyway, that's like the main part of the TWAB that I wanted to break down. If you want to know the rest of the TWAB, I'm going to keep breaking it down as the video goes along. But if not, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. But let's get right into the rest of the TWAB. Bungie opens by addressing the change that I just talked about. They also say that the hidden crew compartment upgrade will now refresh each week, as I guess some people were not receiving their red border for completing their first catch crash each week. Then moving on from there, we have some new Prime Gaming rewards if you have your Amazon accounts attached to your Bungie account. I'm going to leave a link in the description of how to attach those two accounts just right at the top. Um, but first of all, we have the Rock Out Exotic Emote, so it looks like you pull out an electric guitar, that's pretty sweet. Then we have an exotic ghost shell right here, and then the Dynas Emery exotic sparrow, which I believe is an older sparrow. I think I have this sparrow. I think it's from like season one or two. And then we have the legendary ship right here, and I think both of these are older rewards. This might be an older reward, but I'm not exactly sure. I mean, they could all be old rewards. I really don't know. If you do have your Prime Gaming account attached to your Bungie account, head over to Amanda Holiday, and she will give these to you. Then moving on from there, they say that Grandmasters are returning next week. The Militia's Birthright and the Mindbender's Ambition are going to be available as adept weapons for the first time in Destiny history. Then after that, they talk about the King's Fall Raid Ring. As long as you complete the King's Fall Raid by September 30th, you unlock the ability to purchase that King's Fall Raid Ring, which I'll put up here on screen if you want to take a look at it. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty pricey, though. I don't know if it's worth it. And next Tuesday, we have a hotfix going live, which I think will address most of the things in this TWAB. And then here are some other known issues that are going on in the game right now that they look to fix in the future. Well, that is it for the TWAB this week, Guardians. If you found this video entertaining or useful, please hit that subscribe button and like down below. We're really small right now, but we're growing pretty fast. Uh, we got lots of build videos coming out right now. There should be some up on screen right here. There's a pretty ridiculous Titan build that I posted yesterday that I absolutely love right now. So be sure to go check that out. But uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, Guardians. Have a wonderful day.